welcome in meeting in Mauritius. Welcome in Mauritius. Today will be about plants. A lot, a lot of information about plants in Mauritius, especially trees. Um, as I mentioned already before, that I love this country and I love the um, nature here and the beauty here and this impressive, beautiful flowers. I will show you just now uh, flowers from one tree and uh, we'll show you also a finished product of my where will be my pattern written soon and it's also called after Mauritian tree here. Um, when I started to design my uh, garments I decided to uh, name my, my all of them future my designs after the beautiful nature here in Mauritius and yeah I have already a dragon fruit pullover here and I have already the exotic mix kaftan and um, a beach and shells pullover so it's I have few things now it is ca a coming time to a uh, trees <laughs> um, so again, welcome, thank you very much for joining me again or as a first uh, time here, thank you. I hope you will enjoy the time. I have so much things to tell you that I don't know where to start. I have uh, my list done, but I think uh, it is uh, material for two podcasts. I think I will record soon again the another podcast. So you will have two records in a uh, short time, short period. Um, yes, I would like to first uh, announce to you <laughs> that there is a beautiful movie on Netflix um, which is which called uh, The Resort to Love. It is entirely made in Mauritius. It's uh, okay, a co-producer was my our friends, family friend. Uh, so this is one thing, but I'm very happy, also very proud because uh, they background um, uh, people who are playing in this uh, movie are also my five Polish friends. So I'm very happy when I was watching the movie quickly te on Thursday last week when Netflix uh, released the uh, movie. I just was watching for the beautiful uh, countryside and was just making big eyes looking after my friends. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to watch. It is fun to watch completely, completely movie uh, made in Mauritius. It's an American movie, uh, American um, actors. It is, uh, for us, for Mauritians, it's, it's a big success. We're promoting also the country. And the story is made in a, one of the most beautiful hotels in the country. Uh, the name in the, the name in the movie is changed unfortunately but uh, yeah but maybe somebody who is watching the movie or will watch the movie will once like to come to the country here and visit it is so beautiful to see a place where you live it's um, shown to the whole world i mean the whole world now who people who watch netflix can see the beauty of the country uh, it is it is nice it is really really nice so I will put here a little picture and uh, this movie called uh, Resort to Laugh I enjoyed maybe you will enjoy it too um, now I would like to tell you also that by trees this year they don't flower so much and my bushes and my uh, fruits there is not many there is none of passion fruits this year there is there was very little mangoes i hope the next season will be better um we didn't have a really the a rainy season so um there was very little rain this year i think that's why the plants doesn't give the whole um possibility what they could do. I mean, I don't have any passion fruits this year. Normally we have like hundreds of passion fruits. This year I don't have anything in my garden. So it's a very sad story. 
but there are some beautiful sides of this. I will show you. I just quickly jumped on my tree before I uh, came here and I cut it uh, three little sticks of uh, this beautiful, beautiful flowers of this tree is uh, native to uh, India and Burma. Uh, this uh, tree called, mm, where is my paper? Because it's quite difficult to say, oops. Of course, this paper is, ah, this tree called Cochlosperum gossipum, trochę jak gossip, so gossipum. It is yellow silk cotton. The seeds are, um, after the flowers are falling down, this, the tree creates a, a shell, quite the big size, with a seeds inside and the seeds are covered like a, with a white cottony uh, uh, fabric, something like this. Okay. So this is uh, native to India, but I have this tree bought by accident. Uh, and I didn't know the tree was just a little stick and I put it next to my bedroom actually. So I'm very happy. Um, but over the whole year, actually, the tree have beautiful big leaves. Uh, and only now in the winter time, the tree is blooming, flowering and um, when it's flowering the whole tree has no leaves has only the flowers so it's a like a and the, when the flower is falling down it's like a rain of gold <laughs> so this is one tree another tree i will put here the pictures just now i would like to present on me <laughs> i needed a, a poncho more a cape cape poncho for my friend Mary who is traveling soon and uh, I will give the poncho to her. Uh, I will need it uh, one more and I will have test knitted and uh, it will be a pattern coming soon. So the poncho called a flambayo tree or the flame of the forest. So flambayo tree it's going it's coming from uh, native Flee from Madagascar. Uh, Flambayo tree is a whole year long covered. Uh, I think for one month it's not covered with anything. It's just the branches seen uh, to see. And then you have uh, most of the year leaves, and for two months in a year the tree is flowering red. It is in Mauritius flowering in November December. It's telling us the new year is coming, the Chinese new year is coming. So uh, we're using also a lot of the, these trees uh, for decoration in a Christmas or um, for Chinese new year in January, February, when it's still the trees are flowering. Um, yes, so my poncho will, call, will be called the flamboyant tree. The flamboyant tree because the red flowers and this is the trunks of the tree and the sticks you can see i have a higher neck here for this poncho and it is uh, worked in the round i have some slip stitches uh, i have here the flowers which are in making the increase and the um, poncho looks like this it is using eight of um, brush suri alpacas, which are 130 meters uh, long, long from blue sky uh, fibers. Blue sky fibers. And this yarn yeah, looks like this. I have only left the white. I used all my uh, marshmallow and the lollipop, the red coat lollipop. So I bought this directly from uh, Tripian's shop in London, uh, online in online shop. Uh, but I know um, Blue Sky Fibers is also selling, and there are also another websites where you can get it or go to the shop and and get the yarn. So I used eight uh, skins, 
like this uh, two of the brown and um, seven no uh, six of the lollipop red ones i was using also in uh, some corners for example i finished here with icot gold icot and i was using the gold uh, yarn it is from um rico design it is a german brand and it it called metallize something like this i will uh, i will write the name here also so this i was using the metal metallic yarns and i was also using in the lower parts here just to give more shine i was holding together the brush suri with a uh, mohair a mohair with metallic stripes here they also so this is my um flamboyant three poncho there will be pattern for it and there will be pattern with this a uh, higher neck higher neck and there will be pattern starting only from here from the red uh, line so it will be a bit more open and it will it will be a bit more drapey on going on the side and uh, the pattern will also uh, tell you that you can um, make just a hole here for the arm and here you can come back to knit in the round again so it will be closed one so to, just to open for the arms and then um, you will have the whole poncho closed. I wanted to be uh, to have a bit more airy because where we're living it's uh, warm and even in the winter time right uh, like now it's not too cold so I, I need also some air warm on my chest but uh, airy uh, in the lower parts of the pullovers or uh, ponchos or jackets. I like a bit uh, loose. Uh, garments so this is this is this will be coming in about one month uh, because my testers are working on it and uh, yes I'm enjoying this already it's very soft as brush sorry is it's very soft and very drapey and um, um, yeah I mean it's uh, quite interesting also how the yarn is um, changing also after washing uh, it is blooming blooming even more look this is this is already very uh, very fluffy much 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 more than mohair uh, and much softer than mohair and even after washing it's just becoming like a amazingly soft and big uh, here is i just made a big big tension one time and it's a hole i need to do something with it um uh, so some interesting um effects after adding the gold here of course it's a bit more roughish but even after adding the gold here the yarn is still soft so you don't feel really uh, the the metallic yarn you feel more uh, just the softness of the uh, brush story. so this we call um, flamboyant tree um, or the flame of the forest it is beautiful in the time of Christmas the whole country is just amazingly red <laughs> and um, so positive I would say and um, I will suggest that I will put a link uh, under my on to my notes. They I found on uh, YouTube there is a beautiful movie, a uh, short movie I think ten minutes about a flamboyant tree. Somebody who was traveling I think to Mauritius was making a short movie and um, I mean it's it's uh, really beautiful because also they um, filmed from the top so you can see the how wide the tree is and how much shade it is giving um, under so when i was thinking this poncho i was thinking this is flamboyant tree i have this uh, basket behind me and i have always had the handle on the top of my head looking a bit strange um 
so this is it about my uh, new things i have so many other things i don't know where to start um i will uh, just make a little stop and i will come back hello 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 i'm back last in last podcast i promised you to show you uh, my favorite woolly yarn uh, maybe you remember i was uh, knitting the ulan shawl which is from trollenvol uh, dot nl holland from holland no uh, the wool and the design and i was very happy with it while knitting this shawl i got in love with this wool I got in love with the colors, with the wool, with the smell, and it is not really like I tried before some commercial, uh, more commercial wool yarns, and they didn't really talk to me so much like this ones. Uh, and the service from Tornvol uh, is amazing. The communication is amazing. The speed of delivery is just fantastic. So I think it's a good. For me, it's a good place to establish a nice relationship. And also, it's nice for me to work with the wool. So I decided uh, to design some garments. Oh, yeah, garments, you can say. I will start with shawl and another something. I will not tell you what now. Um, I'm working on, the, on it. The design is... Um, written drawn and it, it's in my head now i didn't have much time about uh, knitting already and starting to knit it because i <laughs> i have like like last two weeks sewing days so but it's okay we, we talk about this later so i would like to tell you that the wool arrived and um the big box of wool arrived i have now all the colors which i wanted to have for my project and for my um future patterns i would like to introduce to you this wool so wool centrum uh that's the yarns from wool centrum like this so they have a lot a lot of um yarn which is wool which is um uh, variegated colors and it's um one color only um they are coming from Swe the wool is coming from sweden it's um two play and it is very 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 soft in the hands i mean it's amazing how soft it is and how it's easy to work with it maybe you can see it's a two play it's a it's a very 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 nice uh wool doesn't hurt you on the fingers when you work it's um all the three types of wool i will show you now it is uh for stranded knitting or uh, you say fairy ale uh, knitting um for color works it's working fantastically and i know because i tested i i did the ulan shawl and i did something for me and I, I actually am using in a small project. I will just uh, maybe show you in this podcast or in the next one. What I started, um, I like the yarns. It is making you happy when you work with it. It is giving you really satisfaction. So I, I just would like to show you this one. So this is the wool centrum that's another color of wool centrum so it is from sweden now i will show you the uh, yarn from this is very difficult to tell me to for me to tell the name of the company ah and without glasses not at all i couldn't even remember the name but it is um hillesvek wool fab brick it's a fabric from Hillesberg, i think so i got three types of uh, of this uh wool soleil blanche 
and tint paint. Sorry, I, this is very difficult with the names from all different countries. So this was, I mean, uh, Blanche is a bit thicker, but it's still to ply, but it's a bit thicker, I would say, than these two other ones. Um, they are very similar to Mohair. So when you work, they're still a little roughish, like a woolly yarn is, but when you wash them, it is just as mohair. It's it's blowing, blowing <laughs> like a, a bump. I mean, I don't know how to explain, but it's it's just amazing. This one is even softer. It's um, to play, but it's softer um, um, spin. So it's it's very nice. Uh, it is coming from the company. It is. Uh, existing since 1898 uh, 1898 and this company is uh, registered like an eco company in holland uh, in um, norway it's norwegian company uh, and it they using in the company many many tools and um, machines which are over 100 years old so they're still working on um, machines which are from the grandparents and grand grandparents uh, the company is family owned uh, since the beginning it's i think it's very beautiful uh, what i can tell you about this wool also it is you can recognize this a little bit when you see the wool it is gray based so the the uh, ships there they having gray uh, Um, hey. <laughs> and they uh, so the colors are all coming out after um, after coloring out <laughs> oh my goodness so the yarn is gray and the company is coloring it uh, two different colors yeah sorry so eco company very very good company now we coming back to the third product product from um, the um, troll and wall dot nl uh, it is troll and wall wool it is troll and wall wool they have over 90 colors of the wool I will show you a few which I have here. The wool is coming from Scot. Oops, the ships are living in Scotland, in North England also. And um, it is very, 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 very soft wool. But the another wool is also. Very soft wool. I was using a lot of this to the woolen shawl. Um, over 90 colors, a lot of shades of pink, of red, of uh, brown, um, blue, greens, everything, everything, everything. So the, you have a big, big variety. And the beauty of, beauty of it, it is you don't need to buy a big um, skin or big uh, ball of the yarn. You can buy the 25 uh, grams or you can buy a hundred grams 50 grams sorry this is 50 grams this is 75 grams so you have you can choose which size of the uh, yarn color you need which 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 how many grams you need or how many meters and they're already sending to you in a cakes like this uh to all of these yarns uh the three and three and a half millimeters uh, uh needles are recommended uh so it's i mean for the woolen it was also a uh, long work because with three millimeters needles you you work for socks or uh, but for um, huge shawl, 
it is big work but actually you need the size of needles because when you when you work with bigger needles um maybe you will not get the color work so well done so no definitely you um three and three and a half uh, millimeters needles are recommended and i was using for uland it was a big work but i don't regret i did it it is just amazing 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 shawl so this is my introduction of my um wool for my projects i mean I, I i'm so much in love i'm so much in love this is the this is the decayed one yeah uh i mean this is an bullet syndrome again another color i love it it's just beautiful so much choice big box at home so let's let's <laughs> let's have sometimes uh, i have sometimes a feeling i have only two hands and i have um, millions of ideas in my head i cannot realize every, every idea in my life in my head into my into my reality because one pullover let's say you you need for i mean easy pullover for five days one week more difficult pullover sometimes you need four weeks um or, or blanket or or shawl you're taking a time to need when you want to design something you're even taking a much much more time than uh, the test knitting than writing the pattern everything takes so much time but i have so much ideas about um knitting about um sewing only for me but about knitting i have so so much ideas for the moment i'm i was uh, for uh last week i was very busy and i think i will be next week also very busy that's why i didn't record early uh, i was very busy with my sewing i a few months ago i uh, ordered a, a lot of fabrics from germany but i also was in port louis uh, in the capital and i got a lot of fabrics and they were lying in a mouth yeah, on a on a, a pile because i was uh trying to knit a lot for our Mauritian winter so i concentrated on knitting than on sewing actually it was good because uh, the fabrics are less uh, thick and less um less good for winter time so they can wait a little bit they will be a lot of lot of work but um I was also a few days ago in Port Louis with my kids. There is a, a wonderful uh, street called Cordery Street where you can, on the whole street, you can find a fabric shop after fabric shop after fabric shop and uh, all kind of strings, all kind of uh, things for your sewing machine. Um, and I was there quick, quick, quick with my kids um it was on thursday yesterday the whole day i was um sewing uh, cushions for me i will i think i will show you in the next, next podcast and um and i'm going there on monday again with my friend and we will buy more because um i want to change on the terrace all the cushions covers and some decoration table napkins and yeah so i do this all i think next week again we'll be busy um this was my finished project uh, project this is my uh yarn which i bought i will show you what i i'm still working on it but it's not too bad to show um, the progress. Um, I told you I was buying three types, three colors of uh, wool from um, fiber company, Road to China. I told you, I think about already twice about this, three different colors. One color my husband didn't like, so I changed the pullover to my size. Um, and people who um, follow me on Instagram, uh, the most probably saw already my picture of the pullover I can bring later here again. 
Uh, I'm working on this one for my bigger boy, uh, my bigger son. I'm soon finishing. Oh, sorry. I'm soon finishing. I mean, the reglan, the pullover is done. What's what's here? The pullover, the reglan is done. What's here? Showing on the ah, there is this. Okay, let's step around. <laughs> I would be looking better. So, reglan now, the first sleeve. With I'm um, working with chagos. I like my chagos for the knees for um, my sleeves and socks and cuffs. I'm not knitting much socks. I realized that I'm not a sock knitter. I I um, I think I we don't use here. You know what? <laughs> uh, people say Mauritians are born with flip flops, um, and. Uh, I'm not native Mauritian, but I'm, I'm Mauritian since 24 years. I think I'm Mauritian enough to say that we always walk in flip-flops. So we always use some open shoes as long as you don't need to go somewhere to an office or court or um, to, I don't know, to some official places or official dinners, you're really wearing on um, flip-flops. <laughs> so your, your feet are always uh, showing. So that's why we, all, I mean, we ladies like to have always beautiful toes done. But uh, socks, it's not really, I think when I will live in Europe or in America, in country, I think it's socks will be my... Uh, fabric because I like to have my feet warm but I don't really uh, enjoy knitting them here because I have not really big use of them and I don't know if you are a bit like me I'm really realizing I'm a little bit egoistic knitter <laughs> when I have to knit for my friends okay I knitted this for my friend it is it is for my Mary and it is um I hope she will like it, um, but I enjoyed this because I enjoyed this for, I, I will enjoy this for me again to need the same thing. Maybe I will need in the white one or I will reorder the uh, uh, lollipop and the toasted marshmallow color. Um, this I enjoyed, but I don't enjoy to need for, I don't know. Um, even my husband, I must say, I don't think he will wear it. I'm wearing, I'm having all my, because now it's winter time, I'm having all my pullovers and all my uh, shawls and everything is like outside in my uh, wardrobe on a first um, doorway and a, a shelf, just that I can see it. And I'm enjoying to, to need for myself because I will, I think, I mean, I'm changing every uh, few hours. I'm going to shop, I'm changing, I'm coming home, I'm wearing some more uh, relaxed tops. Um, I'm changing and I love to change my clothes and I like to show, but I see you knitting for someone for days and days and days and they don't really put on or they don't enjoy the knitted product. So I became a little egoistic um, knitter. I really don't mind. So this is for coming back to the pullover for my son. So this is the pullover for my son. Soon will be ready, finish. It is fantastic wool. Like you know, Road to China is one of the most beautiful wools. Again, so this will be next time. I think it will be finished. Hopefully, or oh, I will be busy with another project in the meantime. Or oh, I will be still sewing a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, my kids have um, still holidays. One more week of holidays. Um, and I must say I'm a little sad about this. That the holidays are finishing. That the... Um, the restrictions are finishing also, so the schools will be open. My kids have to go to school, it will be normal routine. And, 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 and where, what I'm sad about, oh, we have to wake up at 5.30 a.m. every day. 
and I'm not a morning person. <laughs> not at all, not at all. So, um, yeah, I drive my kids to school. I make the lunch boxes. They don't have lunch uh, at school. So I'm making the lunch boxes and in the morning they have to have fresh food for school. Uh, I'm dropping them to school. Um, and uh, yes, I enjoy later to come home and sometimes to have a siesta. Um, now maybe less, but in a summer, in a high, high summer, I'm sometimes thinking about my kids. I say, oh my, they have a, a 45 minutes break for lunch and they really running in the heat um, must be very very hot must be very very hot for them but they're enjoying they enjoy their life also in the school they are so happy they are so happy to go and to see friends that i really i i'm happy to i'm happy to that this pandemic is um, now going bit down the figures of sick people and um we can move more freely and more happily outside still we didn't travel my friend mary is traveling so so happy for her she was already in three yarn shops for me she's so kind um yeah let's proceed as my kids have this holiday still me i'm still teaching the knitting uh my friend's kids the coming for knitting lessons and my friend Eli is giving uh, jewelry making lessons and uh, last time my I will I must show how my kids are clever and what they did I mean Eli is good teacher and um, it is uh, really what the kids can do it's amazing um, Eli was providing uh, bracelets, but I was using my uh, my own, my own, which my company is producing. So uh, Eli provided the bead stones, natural stones, uh, zirconia stones, and all the tools and all the knowledge how to fix them to the necklaces, uh, to the bracelets. Um, this bracelet actually is very clever bait um, because every second, no, this one not. Okay, but this one. Um, this one. Because every second uh, link here, oh, voila, I will show you. Every second link is, I don't know, you can see, yes, I think now. Every second link is having a clasp. So there is no hook like for necklace, but there is a clasp. So you can open and remove the extra links or you can open and hang a charm on it. Yeah, no. So we are producing some of these bracelet and necklaces for uh, some brands. Oops, my notes for some brands and this is very well established um, and and companies like it because it's very easy to hang your new charm and my little boy did something like this he chose to have a necklace from us chain and he hangs on the chain he chose to use a blue and greens and pearls so he did it a necklace like this for oh, mommy. I'm very happy. My kids were very busy this uh, holidays. We didn't travel, but we still uh, have been doing a lot, a lot together. Um, now I would like to, uh, because the time is running, I don't want to go over, over too much. I would like to show you what I'm doing with my cards from... Um, from uh, the ends when you weave in when you finish a product uh, pro, um, project you have some yarns which you weave in and then you cutting um, you cutting uh, your yarn and you have a lot of leftovers so what I was doing I was brushing them these strings 
into sometimes very uh, knotty balls and I was I have also some uh, locks locks from I ordered once a long time ago through Etsy so I have some locks also and You can see the colors. Okay, so I was brushing them too. So what I do, I brush the locks and I brush the yarn. <laughs> and I, what I did, I have the uh, drop spin. And what I was doing, I was making some yarn on my own, spinning with the spin, drop spin, I was doing some, so there is sometimes some uh, metallic yarn, there is sometimes pink, there's sometimes yellow, I enjoy this work, it's, it's quite rough, but I, um, it's not much what I did up to now, because I'm um, sewing a lot of clothes right now and a lot of cushions but i enjoy this um this work um as it will be something from the leftovers and from uh the locks which i didn't know what to i was having another plan to to do something with this but now i will um just do my own yarn as i have quite few and uh, I got the um, inspiration from, I will show you here, I, on Etsy also, I bought few, few months ago, this yarns, the hand uh, spun uh, artisan yarns. They're quite um, bulky in a size and I'm, I will be doing similar thing with uh, my uh, locks and my yarn. I want to do a basket for myself or I will do maybe a, um, a bag, quite big bag, just like a sort of handbag a purse but um because it will be shiny it will be gold in there the the, the cuts are all kind of uh, different yarns so there will be a lot of lot of colors mix but it i think it will be nice to have a bigger bag but it will be more for evening going out not really every day so this one is um very bulky and a very a very um roughly spun but i like it very much you can see the lock still here um so that's the one which i got from etsy and um i'm holding it in my basket i have everywhere this basket i love this basket they good for easter egg hunt but also um i'm East, eastern european we all like this handmade and um and uh, back to to nature uh, products very much very very much i know there was a period where we didn't like uh, again the homemade or or countryside made products but now i mean it's uh, back in fashion but i always was uh, enjoying the work um, of people's hands uh, while buying um, while buying the wool from Troll and Vol, I got also at this book it is about um, the um, best knitted uh, treasures from now the name of the writer of the lady Siddel J. Hovik, Havik. 
okay so it i got the book from turnval on from the website there and i really really enjoy i don't know if i will be having now time to need something from there because i want to work on my own design and i have so many other ideas in the meantime but i definitely have two or three pullovers from here which i would like to knit one time i will show you this is one of one of them it's just beautiful this work uh, then the uh, another one is is the snowflakes it it is more classic gray and white and one more so the old patterns and charts are here in this book you um where it is you have uh, plenty of of different this one you have plenty of different uh pullovers here and um mittens and uh, it's really 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 nice book i think with the yarn from Tronval i can do a lot but for the moment the book is just a beautiful um, table decoration shelf decoration because i have another ideas for the moment and as I told you, I have only two hands. Last thing what <laughs> I would like to show you today. Um, no, 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 not last thing. Last thing for wooly stuff. I would like to show you today the same thing what I was I'm doing with uh, the cuts from the wools. I will try to do with the wool hair from my dog. I have a, I have a dog. Her name is uh, Maya, and um, she is a um, cotton de toile, something like this. I will put the name here. What of the breed? She is. I'm sure not a pure breed, but uh, the cotton de toile are natives to Madagascar too, like the tree from today so as you see it's a lot about africa and about uh, mauritius life and in these countries my maya is white the hair are growing all the time so twice a year we have to groom her and uh, she got so soft hair so my kids found out on the youtube that um, people makes yarn out of the hair of the dogs First of all, I was not really sure what to think about. I was um, watching the, <coughs> I'm sorry. I was watching the uh, YouTube, then another one, then another one. Then I got uh, more information. Uh, and my kids and me, we decided that we will be doing spinning a yarn out of my dog's hair. So this is the first batch we washed already. We will brush it one moment, and but we're waiting for the second batch. I think it's this is not enough to make uh, even hard. So let's see, let's wait if my dog will be a hat. <laughs> I mean, the hair of my dog will be a hat one moment. So this is the uh, bit funny way, but you know, I mean, uh, sheep, goats, llamas, alpacas, they're all animals. So why not to make yarn out of the dog? Uh, let's see a uh, one time um ah, you see it's hanging there and i forget with buying the um uh, with buying i will take this both things at the same time off with buying the wool from troll and ball i bought also a project bag from emma ball i love the ships which are wearing knitted garments i really 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 love the ships i wanted to have a little different bag but it came this one it's fine too i love it it's um there is a uh, my uh future future shawl in the something i'm still working on it um the body will be made with um bunny uh, angora yarn so this is for later for another 
for another day for another um, podcast because I'm I'm really I could tell you a lot today more but let's keep it less long I will show you my fabrics which I'm planning to uh, sew a lot of things I have only few here I um, um, have much more but uh, they already cut the cushions are in project uh, uh, on a pile for sewing some of them are finished um, so these ones are from the series uh, of my recycling yarn uh, uh, woo, woo, fabrics from my recycling fabrics this was once my long long beautiful dress so and this was a true dress so the a true dress makes beautiful cushion and now I got um, in Port Louis I got a um, fabric like this I like structures and I like um, prints and I like um, colors um, I didn't I don't have anything in one plain color this will be a tunica this is a chiffon and this came from Germany. I bought this in from Germany. I buy. I mean, Shop and Ship is making good job um, because not many shops from Germany, especially, sending abroad. They sending a lot only in in the country. But even Amazon sometimes doesn't send to Mauritius because we are so far away. Um, so Shop and Ship is making big job. For, for us, for me, for my friends, a uh, lot of, lot of, lot of uh, purchases and a lot of uh, spendings for shipping costs. But, and shipping costs went very high. So there is another fabric like this. This is already pre-cutted. I just put it together. It will be a dress. And uh, this, I it's already leftovers because I made it. Pants I put over, but it's a lot of leftovers, so there will be something else. This is a pants I put it already on uh, Instagram, and I got a um, soft fabric for bed sheets. My bed sheets will change like I got much, much more, but I don't want to keep you too busy with my sewing. I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Please follow me on uh, Instagram, Anna made with a smile. Please um, subscribe um, to my channel here, uh, Knitting and Mauritius. Um, please um, follow me, like me uh, when you want to watch me, <laughs> when uh, it's interesting, when not that I'm a bit sad, but it's, you know, we cannot be the right for everything and you know, for everybody uh, person so i thank you so much for watching i thank you so much for this um uh episode um i don't make any cars or um gifting right now i don't know how to do it i'm a bit scared about to do it <laughs> and i don't know for the moment, I think I want to have naturally uh, people liking me and not liking just to win something. Oh, I think it's okay like this. I don't know. Let's see. I'm just doing this for myself. I'm just doing for sharing my love to knitting, uh, my love to the country and my love now. I mean, to sewing also, but um, next podcast, I will show you beautiful 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 cushions and some fabrics which we can get it here just small reminder this is my this is my dragon fruit pullover which i was showing you last podcast made with uh, mohair entirely with mohair it is a pretty oversized uh, pullover but i i like like this so um, uh, my pattern is uh, already on um, Ravelry and there are three sizes, three different sizes. It is a little cropped, but you can knit longer. And it is ideal for skirts because it's a bit uh, 
oversized so it's uh, for skirts and looks beautiful with this bow. This is uh, the flamboyant three poncho. I'm very, very, very happy with it. And really one day, I hope you will enjoy also knitting it. Thank you very much for watching. See you again. I hope everybody is good. And on the end of the movie, please, please, please see pictures of the trees, pictures of pottery when I was uh, going and buying fabrics. And uh, hope one day we see us in real life. Bye bye. Do widzenia. Au revoir. Um, enjoy and smile. Need to smile. Bye.